Well, day four and it's kind of a quiet time at the moment. Everybody's having lunch. Did an immense amount of work today. If you look down the building, you can see the center aisle is nearly cleaned out with just a couple vehicles away from taking out the extremely rare Veritas car. So during this quiet lunch break without equipment running in and out, Wayne and I are going to push the 19, 19 Excel the side car up. We're going to get the tow pushed out. I love that thing. You know, there's not a lot known about Excelsior's serial number nomenclature, so it's got a brief number, doesn't really have description. Interesting thing about the bike, you might notice the little shield around the magneto. Somebody did that to keep the magneto cool and keep it dry, but the engine does turn over and it's not too bad. What we'll probably do this afternoon is pull the plugs, squirt a little juice in there, let it work itself in, free up, and it's real likely this may be a running motorcycle. You can also notice the old original Super X decal on the tank, the three-speed model. Look at that. A lot of the little pieces on it still work. Amazing. This very well may be the Indian that Lee had told me about. He had an old acquaintance that used to race bikes in the 20s and 30s. You'll notice it has the uh, uh, racing uh, rib tires on it. Very likely this is the bike that uh, Lee had told me about. Uh, it was sitting way in the back. This is uh, not the last bike out of the building. We still have the ones up on the second floor and the old Indian we found in the back room. Right now we're going to take this bike out, put it by the trailer, kind of look it over. Don't know if this bike will run. We may not even try to make it run. Maybe, maybe. Well, this is also an 11. Well, yeah. Pump Motorcycles made in Westfield, Massachusetts, one of the hundred plus manufacturers of motorcycles in America. This is a 1911 single cylinder version. But if you look at the tank on this bike, the original paint is absolutely incredible that a bike that's actually a hundred years old could be in this original condition. It does seem to roll pretty well. The engine rolls over with no start. We're going to take it out to the trailer right now. You know, in looking at the overall condition of the Pope motorcycle, wow. the gold leaf pinstriping is absolutely perfect. Also, when you look at the rims, original paint on the rims, excellent striping, very unusual. Um, single cylinder, first magneto, it's got the original belt. Absolutely amazing uh, what this bike is. Check out the detail. bike operates perfectly. The motor clutch is like brand new. All the controls work great. I'm going to shut it off. Just like that. <laughs> well, you know, yesterday we said we weren't going to start the 1912 Harley single, the original paint bike, and last night I rolled the bike in the trailer and I got to thinking, you know, if that thing had spark, it might just start. You know, the bike has a 1913 uh, Illinois license plate on it on the side of the engine which indicates you know that's nearly a hundred years so possibly a hundred years since the bike started I know Lee never ran the motorcycle I'm going to put a little bit of lubrication in the engine and we'll see what it does Looks like it's the end of day four at Lee Hartung's, a successful ending. Got the Veritas pulled out. Got the 1912 Harley Davidson belt drive in running order. It's such a beautiful bike. We're going to drain the gas, call it a day, and uh, happy bidding.